Grade 2 Math, 3.15 Ordinal Numbers Ordinal numbers show us where something is on a list. They show order. We use ordinal numbers for grade levels in school. We have first grade, second grade, and third grade. It even goes higher, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. We use ordinal numbers in baseball, first base, second base, third base. We even use ordinal numbers for floors of a building. The first floor, the second floor, the third floor. Each ordinal number ends with the same two letters as their words. We have first, which ends with an ST. We write a one with an ST. Second ends with an ND. We write a two with an ND. Third ends with an RD. We write a three and an RD. Fourth ends with TH. We write a four with a TH. And we do the same thing with all the rest. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, they end in a TH. We write a five, six, seven, eight with a TH after them. So whatever the word ends with, those two letters, we write the number and those two letters. First, second, and third are the only ordinal numbers that don't end with TH, even if there are more tens. First ends with an ST, second ends with an ND, and third ends with an RD. And even if we add more tens, if we add two tens to first, it would be 21st. And that ends with an ST. 22nd ends with an ND. 23rd ends with an RD. Even if it's three tens, 31st, 32nd, 33rd. They're the only ones that don't end with a TH. We can find an ordinal number for a letter of the alphabet. What ordinal number is the letter E? It's the fifth letter of the alphabet. What ordinal number is the letter K? It's the eleventh letter of the alphabet. What about the ordinal number for R? R is the 18th letter of the alphabet. And there's 26 letters of the alphabet, so Z is the 26th letter of the alphabet. For the planets in order from the sun, which planet is the third one from the sun? First, second, that would be Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. Saturn is the sixth. We don't count Pluto anymore, do we? We can even use ordinal numbers for the order that we were born. If you have brothers and sisters, were you the first one, second one, third one born? So now you know about ordinal numbers. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.